Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Jazz. Welcome back. Happy New Year and yeah, it feels like it's been forever since I've done a video, although I'm pretty sure it has. Anyways, it's been a whole, what, since last year? I know I had to do the corny joke because I'm, I'm, yeah, my dad pretty much gave me that corny joke and uses it every year, so I had to use it this year. Anyways, enough about that. Today I am reviewing something called the Bump Box. Now this is not the full Bump Box, which I will be doing hopefully soon. I'm not sure when it should be in um, for Selena, but um, this is actually for the Retro Pager. So this is going to be a smaller version, the Bump Box, which for what's early 90s, 80s, the big old giant boom boxes is what it's going to replicate. This is going back into the 90s with the pager. I personally never had one. It was before my time. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but we're going to bring it into the new age. From what I remember seeing. <laughs> yep, pretty much looks like a pager. From what I've heard, doctors actually still have pagers. Don't know how true that is since I don't really have know anybody with um, that is a doctor that can confirm or deny that, um, whether it's true or not. So let's see. Thank you for purchasing the red box. So it says, thank you for purchasing the bump box retro pager. This manual gets you started quickly with setup on your bump box retro pager. So you can start bumping. That oh, might help if I had it on right. Um, flashing light switch. So we've got a flashlight switch. Ooh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Do not hit the flashlight while it's facing you and it's on the top. Hopefully nobody else is blind like me. Back clip flashlight switch, LED flashlight, which is on top. The work indicator, which I'm guessing is this little white dot over here, which really can't see. And then of course a microphone. Is this gonna record me? Hmm, interesting. It does have the charging port right here but it is not for the type C. It's the previous version of it. And it looks like there is a slot for a micro SD card as well. So if you have your music downloaded on a micro SD card, you can easily play it on here. I do not. Everything's streamed on my phone. All right, let's see. So we've got the, it actually comes with auxiliary cord as well as the charger. So that's what we've got here and I think Monger got a hold of this because it looks like it's been chewed on. It really wouldn't surprise me at all if he did. And then we've got, ooh, this is going to be hard to get into. I'm trying to put, oh, wait, 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 is it going to go through? Yes. Nope. Nope. It's like, ah, yes. Got it. So we do have, in case you don't want to wear it, you can wear it around your wrist instead of your pocket. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Bluetooth note. Okay, well, I think it might be on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anything that I need to do special with it? Turn on your retro pager for the first time. Press and hold the power button for three seconds. A blue light, which is flashing. Uh, will flash indicating the speaker is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Open your smart device such as a mobile phone and find bump box pager on your Bluetooth device. So let's go ahead and set that up. Miss telling me that it's going to pair. Connected. Just in case you didn't know. And there is no way to know exactly what the charge life on retro pager is. But when I did my Bluetooth, it does tell me that it's the has 90% battery life remaining. So if you really, really want to know whether you need to charge it or not before you head out, um, pretty much just go ahead and open up your Bluetooth setup screen. So obviously with the blue light, on, it means that it's set up. So we're gonna go ahead and try and play some music on it. Otherwise, what's the point in having speaker? All right, guys, so I have it connected. 
and we're going to attempt to play some music. Hopefully it goes. <laughs> I'm going to turn the volume up. This is that full volume, guys. Pretty good speaker for such a small little thing right here. I'm going to try a couple of more songs, too, to test it out. So we can hear it, you know, give a little bit of a variety. One more song and let's see how it sounds. right off the bat I will say it has pretty good volume I just wish that it had a little bit more bass to it um, that that's the main thing I guess the main critique that I can give it right off the bat and there is this end button here mode my guess and that's actually going to connect to any of the the virtual assistants that you use and as the music was playing you did hear a little beep because I, I accidentally pressed the button. Well, I didn't accidentally. I intentionally pressed the button <laughs> without realizing what I was going to do. And on my phone, it popped up for it had if you want to do Bixby, if you want to do Alexa, or if you wanted to do Google Assistant. So you could connect it up to, you know, set your phone up with that as well. Um, it does come in a variety of different colors, as you can see right here. To kind of give you an idea. And I just kind of went with the basic clear on this one. They do have a lot of transparent colors, like the one I have here, which is clear or white, whatever you want to call it. I say clear. Uh, but they also do have solid colors as well and celebrity endorsed or artist endorsed. Um, so similarly to the giant Selena boombox that I should be getting in, hopefully within the next hour or two. No, <laughs> that's what you're thinking, guys. <laughs> I already know it's not going to be here that quick. So. I'm not sure when they're going to be restocking and releasing them, but um, I do have it already ordered. So make sure that you subscribe so that way you can see that ginormous bump box, or at least I think it's ginormous. <laughs> um, now, as far as the speaker goes, it's $95, which isn't too bad, especially, and you know, the sound that it comes along with it, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, but if you're cheap, I can understand that. <laughs> But it is very easily portable, pretty much like a regular pager. As far as I know, I haven't seen any, but I could be wrong. As far as I know, there's no other pager speaker like this. So if you want to, you know, be the life of the party, <laughs> you know, if power goes out or anything like that, you can still have your own music going around with that. So you can't go wrong. You're always going to have a speaker with you. Um, as far as the charge time goes, it didn't give me an exact time frame on how long it takes to charge, but it does have a play time of seven out, up to seven hours. Keep in mind, of course, volume is going to play a role, if, and I'm pretty sure the type of music that you have is going to play a role as well on your lifespan. So up to seven hours of play time, and if you just charged it and just left it as is, it'll hold charge for up to three weeks, which can't go wrong with that especially when you, you never know when you're gonna be on the go 
especially nowadays. <laughs> so just a refresher as far as the buttons go, this is the mode which is going to connect to your assistant, whatever you use, Bixby, Amazon, Google, Siri, um, like I said, whatever you decide to use it with. You've got your power button, your, you know, increase and decrease in volume, and your flashlight if you want to get blinded. It's actually a pretty bright light, and you can actually see it from the back as well. And I think I've covered everything. If I have not, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to answer. If you have a bump box, let me know whether you have the regular one or the pager, which one's your favorite and why. And I'll be more than happy to respond back. I love getting feedback from you guys. Let's make this a great 2021. In the meantime, make sure that you subscribe to Jazzy Reviews as well as my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Foods. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.